hot fucking damn Tokyo Game Show Persona 5. This shit is amazing. Every single time that I even get the tiniest morsel of information, let alone a full on several minute long trailer depicting all the different characters, locations, new gameplay footage, all in game, all the animated cutscenes, I'm just like, holy fuck. I'm like, Persona! It's fucking amazing. It's so stylish, it's so over the top, it's so Shin Megami Tensei rific. I I can't get enough of it. And to, again, Tokyo Game Show, man, we're just getting RPG after RPG after RPG. I'm like, fucking praise the gaming heavens! This is some of the stuff that I've been wanting to see so damn much. And we already knew that we were going to see it because, well, Sega and Atlas have a lot to go and show off this year. So, Persona 5 gameplay footage, a trailer reaction to the Tokyo Game Show 2015 trailer. So... We got to see all different anime cutscenes, which I'm going to safely assume, considering the wealth of them that they have in there, that we're going to see a Persona 5 anime, which I'm fine with. We already have multiple ones for Persona 4 being regular as Persona 4, Persona 4 Golden. We have multiple Persona 3 movies. Just bring them on. Bring, uh, just, just keep on bringing them in. I'm fine with that because they're worth it. They're totally worth watching. But this showcase that... We, we got to see all the different characters, the main characters, all their different transformations and their actual personas that they use in combat. That I thought was pretty fucking sweet. And I noticed that the transformation sequences are so much more overdone and way more elaborate and detailed and just crazy. I was like, that! I, I'm going cool with the Okay, we've got that going. Then they showed off a lot of different gameplay mechanics. It seems that, you know, during the day, you're already... Fucking like juggling things such as schoolwork, and then your social life, your love life, and then all the different hobbies and different social links that you'll be establishing throughout the entire tenure of the game. Well, how about this? Some of the stuff that you get to do, you get to play out as a mini game. I was like, fuck yeah, this is totally awesome. Okay, I can get that. I'm, I'm absolutely fine with that. They showed off like three or four different versions of it. One of them was baseball. One of them was going and practicing on, on some shit. And there was some other stuff. But I like the fact that this is now getting more in depth. It's more hands on. Rather than just the actions playing out in front of you, you get to go and use your skills to make this shit happen. That's fucking badass. So then, we got to see more stuff of them dressed up in all, all of their fucking thieving gear, pulling off some Sly Cooper shit, running along the fucking rooftops and shit, and this was stuff that they were controlling in-game. So, they're, they're jumping around inside paintings, so I'm getting some Super Mario 64 vibe. I'm like, okay, they're jumping in and out of the paintings to all these different scenic landscapes, Going through those, trying to traverse through different buildings, I'm assuming it's like some kind of artsy-fartsy museum or whatever, but I'm looking at them like, that's fucking cool. Okay, so so we've got that. Then there is other real insane portions. There's this big fucking boulder, and it's like the worst case of the Mondays, because they had Mondays sitting up at the top. I'm just like, that's not the kind of shit that you want to deal with. And I know we all fucking hate Mondays because school, work, and other fucking bullshit. The end of the weekend, suffering from a fucking possible hangover because you continue partying on Sunday. And then you got some Indiana Jones-style bullshit happening in whatever fucking random world that they're in. And they're just, they're fucking bucking it. They're like, I'm not getting squished. I'm not fucking getting squished. I need to get the fuck out of here. Persona! I'm like, nope, nope. You can't call that shit. It's not helping you. Use your fucking legs. Go on. Get that shit going. Your Achilles gets blown up? Doesn't matter. <laughs> fucking dead. But seeing that, and seeing the actual little, like, alternate dimension world, whatever the fuck they're going to end up calling this one, with, like, little cat burglar character that they have there, which is kind of like their pseudo version of Teddy, I guess, to some degree, their mascot character that they'll have for this, which I'm absolutely fine with. And, and that one running around, you got to see his persona transformation, by the way. I was just like, I can't wait. And, and seeing it, also, you're in the city, and it seems that there's a lot more locales that you can run around in and walk around in that are way busier and bustling. Not just the school and a couple other locations, like, a full-blown in the city wandering around and there's fucking people everywhere, little fucking chat bubbles coming up. I'm like, all right, this is kind of sweet. I'm, I'm digging that. that. That's fucking awesome. The beginning anime cutscene, I, I don't know any of the character's name, but the one chick, fucking titties for days, just bouncing all over the place. And I was like, I fucking love fan service sometimes. 
yeah. But seeing them, and she just fucking whips that fucking cat and just, she launches his ass. He's like, whoa, 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 ding, and it's like fucking blasting off again, a la Team Rocket. But this, oh man, it just looks so damn cool. We got to see the main character chained up and beaten to fucking profusely. So I'm assuming that maybe the police got a hold of him, or maybe, possibly, some other bad guys, maybe the people that he was trying to steal from, ended up catching him. We all know exactly what's going on, and the trailer didn't have subtitles or anything, so I have no clue what the fuck they're saying. I just know it's Persona 5, and it looks real fucking cool. Real colorful, real stylish, and graphically. God damn! I know the graphics for many people aren't exactly important, but this is one of those things that visually and aesthetically, it's stunning because it goes for art assets well over everything else. And the art in all the Shimigami Tensei games has been top-notch stuff, especially within the Persona series of the Shimigami Tensei games. I've loved that so damn much. If you've ever picked up, like, uh, what is it? They called like, the professional works or the artworks, or whatever the fuck it is, the Persona art books. Seeing those, I love them so damn much, and they do such a good job of representing them within a 3D space. And you're controlling these characters, like, and everything's all cell shaded, and it looks like a real life anime that you're running around in. I know that one area that, like, the main character, he was just fucking chugging along, and he went inside, and it was like all fucking Tron looking and shit. I don't know what the hell it was, I just know it looked neat. They also showed off some of the monsters. Again, another one of the high points of the Persona series has been the monsters. I've always loved the monster designs because they went from elaborate to disturbing to kooky and fucking strange and some are just morbid and just what the fuck, very macabre. They showed off a couple of their, I, the one definitely had to have been a boss, that motherfucker with like the crown and scepter and all that shit, I was like, that's totally a boss, way too fucking big to be a regular ass enemy, and especially with some of the special attacks, and the other one was like, two fucked up paintings, and they had like eyeballs inside them, and this wasn't like the cover of some Tool album or anything, but it looked fucking sweet. And I'm just glad that we're getting another turn-based RPG. I fucking love turn-based, by the way. Call me crazy, I know everybody prefers the action, action-y type games, but I like turn-based, I don't know. It, maybe it's because that's what I grew up on, but it's more relaxing, it's more strategic when you're just sitting back and you're planning and coordinating all these fucking moves. So, this looks great. I mean, more great music, more great animated cutscenes, more in-depth analysis of what we're going to expect. The delay. The delay to this game does suck, admittedly. That was brought up and they said that it is delayed until summer of 2016. And, you know, there's going to be an entire universal, aww, and, and you know, a big fucking rain cloud over the head of all the Persona fans. But I will say this. I am absolutely fine with waiting, because it means that they are going to put more work, more effort to perfect this game. Years of development are going to go into this game, and this game will live on in infamy, and you want the perfect product to go out on day one. And they've done nothing short of have one of the most excellent and revered RPG series of all time. So they need to stay at that high caliber that they've continued to have people's fucking trust in. So if they need that extra time, by all means, take the extra time, because here's a fact. We have tons of games coming out. All the way up until that date, so I'm fine with waiting. Whatever you need to do, I trust them with this because they make excellent games. And we've already waited this many years since Persona 4. A couple more months is not going to kill us. That's a fucking big-ass truth bomb, just... <laughs> so there you go. It'll be hard to wait, but in the meantime, we got plenty of games to play. So always look at it that way. Just kill some time, playing some other shit. Or play some old shit. Maybe play through some of the older Persona games. I keep on running into people would say, I love Persona. Which ones did you play? I played Persona 4. Which other ones? That's all. Persona 1, 2, uh, both versions of 2, by the way, Three and four. You've got a lot of Persona-ing to do. Persona Q, if you want to go and add that into the fucking mix. Just play the other games if you have not had the opportunity while you go and wait for this. Or just replay some of those games, because they're fucking totally worth it. Love those so much. And the animes, watch those. Uh -huh. Look at that. Look, I filled up your time. So anyway, opinions and thoughts on that shit. Persona 5 Tokyo Game Show 2015 trailer. 
This has been another reaction video from yours truly. And I'll go and conclude this video like always. Nerds, nerds, and gamers, game the fuck on. Thank <laughs> you.